Steve, the Cyclones last night, game one. Uh, what do you think we learned from that, if anything? Anything revealing? Anything confirming to you? Well, let's start with what's confirming, John. I think we can begin with the immortal words of the great prophet uh, Dennis Green, who once said, they are who we thought they were. Uh, I think you saw a lot of things in Iowa State last night that you saw last year from a personnel standpoint, and that is that they have a lot of playmakers on offense. They have the ability to make big plays on offense and score a lot of points. They had 26 first downs, 200 yards rushing, and 200 yards uh, passing. So a very balanced offensive approach for new coordinator Tom Herman in his debut, uh, despite the fact the timing isn't there with the passing game. I think you saw that last night that they would like. On the other hand, from a talent perspective, they are undermanned on the defensive side of the football, and we saw that, again, against North Dakota State. They struggled at times to get off the field on third down. They gave up over 200 yards rushing, and the tackle at times did not look great, but I don't think it's because they were out of position. I just think it's because there was a lack of talent, and when the other guy's better than you, he has a tendency to be tougher to tackle. Now, we did, we did see some things last night that I think are really positive if you're an Iowa Stater. Number one, their special teams play across the board I thought was really good. Uh, Brandner and Mahoney as a twin engine of kickers, John, is as good as Iowa State has had since I've been around Iowa State Athletics. That's as solid as they have been both in kicking and punting. Their coverages last night, Grant Mahoney's kick kickoffs were not very deep. He barely got it inside the 10-yard line. Their kickoff coverage units last night, really good. And as we saw last year, their kick return units are really good, too. So if you, I mean, special teams, we've seen over the years programs like Virginia Tech really narrow the talent gap in football games at times by winning the special teams battle. So this, used, this looks to be as good of a special teams unit as Iowa State's had maybe in recent memory. Two other things we didn't see last night that we saw too much of last year, that you got them zone defense uh, that they played last year where guys are just like waving at each other while the receiver runs by them. Uh, they were in position last night. Sometimes they didn't make the play. Again, I think that's a talent issue. But with the exception of the play action pass that led to a North Dakota State touchdown that Leonard Johnson got fooled on, uh, I thought that they were in position uh, a lot. They had really solidified from a scheme standpoint and a discipline standpoint. And then you also throw in discipline with the fact this is a team that had personal fouls into the high teens last year. John, without the headset capability for the entire game, they're doing six on cell phones and everything else, and they didn't find out till right before the game started they couldn't do it, which means they didn't prepare for this going in. Still, no procedure penalties, no holding penalties, no delay of game penalties, no personal fouls. They had one illegal blocking penalty, and that didn't come till late in the fourth quarter. So two things that really destroyed ISU last year, which are correctable errors. And that is a lack of um, a positioning on the defensive side of the football and too many stupid penalties. You saw right away, John, those things went away. So what will we have this time of year or this kind of, or what kind of season will Iowa State have this year? I think they're going to be a very exciting team offensively. I think they will be frustrating at times defensively. But I think if they shore up those discipline areas that killed them a year ago, that's a chance to win maybe three or four more games than they won a year ago where they lost games to, to Colorado and they lost games to Kansas. Uh, and they lost some other games where they had those games where they had a chance to win them and didn't make enough plays up here to win those football games. And it appears the new staff has definitely addressed that.